Hello my Soccer Universe for the first Conference League review, the first ever dedicated Conference League review and yeah you see I have way less teams there, only six, I changed the per per perspective and just to let you know all my notes are over there so if I look like this I'm just looking at the notes to know the games that I have. I actually saw highlights of all of these games and what can I tell you, the Conference League probably had more upsets than any of the other European matches. They also had more goals, we had at three and a half, more than three and a half goals per game and there were some really crazy games, a few upsets in there, namely looking at these two teams here that did not look good. But also uh, all the favorites, you know, the teams that are up there, uh, while they got wins, if at all, you know, was not convincing, was not convincing if it was. I'm wearing Pauk. I think they got a really good away win uh, at Helsinki, but we'll talk all about that right now. Let's uh, run through all the games you see here, the first set, and we start with the big upset already. Lega Vaso, that's the two Premier League teams lost yesterday. Lega Vaso, great Tifo. If you haven't seen that one, look, 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 look it up. It is just Gorgorge with the bear that gets them the, um, the um, eyes on. That's pretty amazing. And the game was already pretty, pretty amazing because within 10 minutes it was 1 1 uh, with Lega taking the lead. And then I didn't even realize that Zaniolo. I mean, it hasn't read, read it, I heard it, but it hasn't really read, read it. Zaniolo is now playing for Villa. Uh, he had a, a foot in the equalizer. Um, it was 2-2 two -two at the half. Lega over, 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 over take, taking the lead. And then Lega, who actually had eliminated Oscar Mann, so I'm familiar with those, get a 3-2 winner. So that's the first upset of the evening. The biggest upsets of the evening, though, must have been, if you just look at the run of plays, Rinsky Mostar, the team that Lusk squeaked by to make it in, in, into the Europa League, the first Bosnian team to make it into a European group stage. So this was the first European group stage game hold, held on Bosnian ground. Founded as 3-0 down to AZ, the semifinalists from last season. And they come back to win the game in the second half. Uh, the first goal, the one was a free kick where, I, yeah, okay, it can go in, but the goalie didn't look well. The 2 3, a long range shot that just found its way in. It was just a random shot. And then I don't know how Z folded on that one. It, this is a mystery to me. Dutch team's not looking good uh, this week. Let's say that that, that way. Uh, Ferenc Varos had also a hard, rather tough time against them, trying to get it around. Two, Chukaricki, this is a real tongue twister. They had a 1 0 they probably should have taken a 2 0 lead, but Ferenc Varos came, came back to win it. Fiorentina also had twice the lead through Ranieri at Genk, but Genk could always equalize as well. And then we look at Frank, Frankfurt against Aberdeen. Honestly, that was a, a game Frankfurt did not look good. They took it, a lead through a pen penalty. Aberdeen could equalize, were hanging in there. Uh, Frankfurt then just uh, squeaked in a header. To make it 2 1, so off to a good start, but this is not the Frankfurt that, that, that we used to. I think Frankfurt look quite different already in the Bundesliga. As I said, Pauk uh, was 1 1 nil down, scored three goals in the sack, second half, with especially Despotov, newly acquired Bulgarian striker, uh, playing a big, big role before conceding a penalty late on. But you know, adds to a really good Greek record with only Olympiakos losing in the Europa League, but all the other Greek teams getting uh, wins. Uh, Fenerbahce had to work harder than it uh, looked about a 3-1 win and Ludo Goretz also steaming past uh, Spartak Trunova. Uh, very, very convincing. Already on Wednesday, Lille beat Olympia, Olympia Ljubljana 2-0. Uh, um, Ljubljana was outclassed, but uh, it was took a stoppage time goal to make the goal uh, scoreline 2-0. Klaxvik, our favorite team that started in Champions League quali quali qualification and then uh, was handed through to make it to Conference League. First Fair Ferris team had a 1 0 lead in Bratislava. How Bratislava then turns turn, turn around. Empty stadium for Zoria's home game against Ghent. Uh, they get the equalizer because Ghent cannot get the job done. Breda Blick, another new first Icelandic team in a, in, in a group stage, also took took the... Nah, they did not take a lead. Maccabi had a 3-0 lead, and but they then put, they uh, fight back to a 3-2. Dinamo Zagreb, 5-1, very convincing, uh, looking good. Uh, if you look at Victoria Pilsen's goal, I mean, yes, it's a 1-0 win over Balkany, but that goal was wicked. I mean, yes, 
deserved, deserved win, but it t takes a deflection, it goes up, then against the crossbar, bang down. It's one of the weirdest uh, physics, uh, gravity defying or physics defying shots that I've ev ever seen. Look it up. Club Bruges. Never should have been 1 1. They had so many chances against Besiktas. Besiktas snags it very, very, very late. Uh, to Tosun and then Lugano having to play in an empty Letze ground in Zurich because their home ground is not fit. Only a nil nil draw against Bode. So, not really, really um, convincing there. So, those were the games, at least a quick sum a summary I give you here. Uh, the standings have, you know, you see kind of winners and losers in there. I don't want to comment too much. It just look at the goal average. That's for me the most outstanding part of that of of those here. And then we have uh, the favorites. Yes, Villa may have have lost. They're still the favorites because they are considered probably among the best teams. And here Fiorentina and Frankfurt, Lille. Um, I can see that AZ should have, should have take, 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 take a beating. Uh, just note that Liverpool with only a 6% chance of making it into, in, into the Conference League, make the top 20, telling you how strong these teams are. So plenty of Europa League teams already in there as well. We have to see how the, as the competition moves on. Uh, I also give you here the upcoming ma ma matches. I will really want to see whether Villa and AZ can bounce back uh, with respective home wins. Similar goes for Fiorentina, but um, you know, I do follow the car conference league, but it doesn't hold the high interest, especially with no Austrian teams in there. But there are some good teams in there. I mean, Frankfurt, they have definitely, Fiorentina, they have definitely a team in there. And with Villa also in there, Park in, in, in there. I, don't, I will follow it closer, but I will not pay super high attention. Like, um, probably watch matches once it gets to the knockout stage. But in any case, if your team was in the conference and you watched them, please add a line below. I really would like to know from you. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.